there. It's Kim from YourChicGeek.com, where I make tech and digital marketing easy for small businesses. So what I wanted to do today is to briefly go over how to send a new uh, a new download or a free download to new subscribers as they opt in for your list. Okay. Now, obviously, uh, by this point, um, you would. Opt, I'm hoping that you have created the free download that you want to send. And so, um, this tutorial is just going to be specifically to show you how to send it using an email marketing service. Now, the email marketing service that I am using for this tutorial is Active Campaign. I used to use Aweber. But um, I have since switched to Active Campaign, and it's because of the more advanced features that you get access to. But I received this question from one of the lovely folks that are in my Facebook group, and um, she was just basically asking, you know, look, how do I send a free uh, download to my new email subscribers as they opt in to my list? And so um, I wanted to just go over, um, go to this quick, to do this quick tutorial to show you how it's done. All right. So I'm logged in into the dashboard of my active campaign account. And so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go to automations because what we want to do is we want to send out an autoresponder basically that is that basically works that every time that somebody opts into this specific email list, they are going to get access to this download. Okay. So this is where we would come in order to create the automation for this specific download. Now, actually, the first thing that I want to do and the first thing that you do need to do is you need to make sure that, um, first off, that you have your free download uploaded to a site um, like Google Drive or to Dropbox.com, okay? So I typically use Google Drive to upload my freebies. And so I'm just going to go there really, really quickly and just show you how to do that if you don't know how to do it. So um, you want to go to go to Google Drive. And if you have a Gmail account, then 10 times out of 10, you're going to have access to Google Drive. And so what you would do is in your Google Drive account, you're going to go to New and then you're going to go to file upload. Okay. Now I have a lot of stuff in here, but I'm just going to, um, let's see here. I'm going to find a download that I created. Oh, let's see. It should be on my desktop. I'm telling you, there's a lot of stuff here. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Okay. So here's a cheat sheet that I created. So I'm going to upload this cheat sheet to Google Drive because this is what I want to give away to my new subscribers as they opt in to my list. Okay. So let's go ahead and click open and that's going to download and it's going to do all that good stuff. And that's great. So the next thing I want to do is I'm going to click on this link. And then what I want to do is I want to come over here to this little section in the corner with the three dots and I'm going to click on this and then I'm going to click share. Okay, the last thing I want to do is to click on where it says get shareable link because this is the link that I'm going to put into my email autoresponder as folks opt into the list to get this free cheat sheet that I'm giving away. So I'm just going to copy this link and I'm just going to leave this up for now. Okay. Now, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to pop back over to my email marketing service, which again, I'm using Active Campaign, and I need to first off create a list. So I'm going to just take a step back here. That's the first thing that you want to do. You want to create a list. Okay. So in order to do that, I'm just going to go to add new list and then I'm going to go to, let's see, name your list. I'm just going to do a test list for new subbies. You can just name your list, whatever you want to name it to. I would suggest naming it to something that's going to stick out to you. So you know exactly where these people, whenever they're opting into your list, you know exactly which list they're opting into. Okay. Then you just kind of go down and you put in your website information. So I'm just going to put that in. Okay. And then it says, uh, remind your contacts why they entered your list and why you're emailing them. Says, I'll just put something like um, you opted into received emails from your sheet geek.com. Okay. And then I'm going to create the list by clicking create the list. Okay, great. So, all right. So the next thing that I want to do is definitely I need to create a form because I need to associate my list 
to a specific form, okay? So I'm just gonna do form here. Click on form. Okay, so the new form that I'm gonna create is gonna be called test list form or something like that, okay? So this form is specifically for whenever somebody opts in or subscribes to a list and the list that they're gonna be subscribing to is going to be the test list for new subbies. This is the one that I just created. So I want to associate this specific form to this list, okay? So I'm gonna cl click create right here. And it's gonna to start to create this form or it's gonna take me to this form that, um, that I can kind of doctor up. Now, I typically like to, instead of using the full name, I like to, pe I like to associate people or to um, use the first name in my email subscription forms because I just think it personalizes things a little bit. So I'm just gonna click to remove full name and then I'm gonna go over here to the right and I'm gonna drag first name up here, okay? And then that's going to be it. Now I'm gonna go to integrate. Now it's gonna ask me if I wanna take the embed code and put that into a landing page that I've associated, or if I want a link to this form, or if I wanna put this on the sidebar maybe of WordPress and et cetera. There's all kinds of different options here. Depending on what kind of form you have set up, you know, you can get either the embed code, the link code, or the WordPress form, and then you can put that into a widget on the side of your WordPress blog if you have that. But I typically link all of my um, forms to landing pages that I create on my site. Now, I'm not really gonna get into the landing pages and how to create one right now. I do have another video on that. But just for this, for, for the sake of brevity, I'm not gonna really get into that. But I just wanted to kind of show you what you need to do to kind of step through um, this before we get into creating the actual autoresponder, okay? so. Um, let's go to save and exit. Great. So my list is saved and now my form is saved. The next thing I want to do is I want to click on automations because this is where we're going to actually create the auto responder that's going to tie in to the list that I just created. So I'm going to click on new automation. And um, Active Campaign is very advanced, or it's a little advanced, but what I typically do is I go to Start from Scratch. So I'm gonna click on Start from Scratch, and then I'm gonna click Create to start a new automation. Okay, so now what I typically do, or what I usually do is um, where it says, how will a contact enter your automation? I usually go to Submit a Form. Because again, all of my forms are tied to different landing pages and uh, landing pages and forms and things that I'm using on my blog. So this is the option that I will select. And then it's going to ask me, okay, which form do you want to tie this to? Now we just created the new form, which is called test list form. Okay. So I'm going to click to add a start. And this is basically saying that anyone who enters into this form is going to go through this automation or this autoresponder. So I'm gonna click Add Start. Great, so with Active Campaign, what you need to do next is, since this is going to be an automatic email that's going to be sent out immediately, the next option that I wanna do is I want to send an email. And so as you can see, it says click the button to add your first action. So I'm gonna click this and I wanted to send an email. So it says you don't have any email, any emails to send. And then it's gonna say the email name and I'm just gonna name this uh, free download for test list, okay? So what I would suggest is of course, naming the email something that you can identify with and remember. So let's do create. Okay, awesome. So now it's asking me to choose a template that I wanna use for this specific email. Now, I already have a lot of past campaigns, so I'm just gonna use a past campaign that I have created in, um, in Active Campaign for emails that I've sent out previously on something, okay? And I'm just gonna modify that just to kind of speed things up. 
So I'm just going to use this design for the free blogging series. I don't know. But for here is where you would come to put your actual email subject line. And this is a subject line that your subscribers are going to see after they opt in to your email list. OK, so I'm just going to say, um, hey, there, your free. You see, I've already been typing in here. Your free cheat sheet is ready for download. So that'll be the subject line that they are going to see after they opt in to this specific list. OK, so I'm going to click continue. And then it's going to start populating. OK, so it has a let's see, this is the free. This is a design actually of the email. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to leave this as default. So it just says, hey, their first name. And then maybe I would put something like, thanks so much for uh, subscribing to the Your Chic Geek blog. Here is your free cheat sheet. You can click here to down, uh, I'll just do this. Click here to download it. Okay, so I'm going to highlight this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this little icon that says link. I'm going to go back to Google Drive. I'm going to copy the shareable link of the download that I want them to have access to. I'm going to go back to Active, Active Campaign. And I'm going to paste this link there. And then I'm going to click OK. All right. So we're pretty much done unless, you know, obviously you may want to add some other additional information and et cetera, but that's pretty much it. So then I'm going to click next. Okay, great. So what I like to do whenever I am creating new automations and things like that in active campaign is I like to send a test to myself just to make sure that the link, link is working correctly and that folks are not going to have an issue with downloading the freebie that I'm giving, giving away to them. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click send test and then I'm going to click send anyway. So now this email should be coming to my personal uh, Gmail account and this way I can check this just to make sure that it's going to work correctly. So as you can see, it just landed in my inbox. Hey there, your free cheat sheet is ready for download. So I'm going to click on this. And as you can see, this is the message. Hey there, Kim. Thanks so much for subscribing to the Your Sheet Geek blog. Here's your free cheat sheet. So I'm going to click here to download this. And now I know that this is working correctly because this is the actual download that I attached to the Google to my Google Drive account that I want people to have access to. Now, the beauty in this is that any time that somebody opts in to this specific list, this email is going to go out automatically to them without me having to do anything else. OK, so that's the beauty in email automation. So now what I'm going to do is go to finish. Now, this is something that's really important in Active Campaign. You want to make sure that after you have you know, created the autoresponder message that you want to send, that you have linked the download that you want to send, that you go here and you set this to active. You have to do this. If you don't, it's not going to work. Another thing that I would recommend that you do if you decide to use Active Campaign is to go over here where it says Automation 17. And I would name this to something that is recognizable again. So free download for test list, you, uh, test list. OK, so you would name that to that. And then that is it. And that is pretty much it. That is good to go. So again, anytime someone comes to my site and opts into this specific list, they're going to get this free download with the test list or you know whatever it is that you want them to have with no issues. So that pretty much covers how to send a free download to new subscribers after they opt into your list. Now, if you have any additional questions or anything that you want to ask me, I am available on Twitter at yourchicgeek81. 
And I'm also available mostly on Facebook too. But Twitter really is my jam. So if you have questions, I'm there and I'm, I'll be more than happy to answer your questions for you. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video tutorial of how to send a free download to your subscribers using Active Campaign. If you did, I would love for you to share this out with folks that you think would value this or find value in it. And I really appreciate you for tuning in. Okay, see you around. Cheers.